Get ready for an energetic rundown of the most innovative developer tools and AI frameworks heating up GitHub right now. We are covering top trending and open source GitHub projects this week. Part 1. Showcasing 10 projects that are setting new standards for AI customization, native application development, and decentralized compute. You will discover cutting-edge solutions for building your own AI inference clusters, creating high-performance cross-platform mobile apps, and giving large language models direct secure database access. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Awesome Cloud Skills, Curated Workflows for Cloud AI. Let's dive into Awesome Cloud Skills, a free and open source repository from Composio HQ that collects a rich catalog of ready-made skills or workflows for the Cloud family, Cloud.ai, Cloud Code, and the Cloud API. It enables users to quickly plug in structured task definitions, for example, document processing, code tools, brainstorming, lead research, image enhancement, so Claude can perform specialized actions instead of generic chats. The stack is built around YAML front matter skill folders that contain skill.mb instructions and optional scripts slash templates. For instance, it covers skills like change log generator, making release notes from git commits, and MCP builder, helping build model context protocol servers, among others. The repo is licensed under Apache 2.0. It's aimed at developers, AI practitioners, and productivity tinkerers who want to extend Claude's capabilities and standardize reusable workflows across tools. The practical value lies in reducing prompt engineering effort, enabling repeatable automation, and increasing ownership of AI behavior. Demo usage is as simple as installing a skill folder, e.g., MCP, Glodto, Lyaflombert, DQA2, Demo Have, Glodto Code, skills, then copy the directory, then loading it in Claude code. Before we move to next project, let me introduce you to Supadata, web and YouTube to text API for makers. As you know, building modern software, especially with AI agents or chatbots, requires massive amounts of clean data. We were facing a constant hassle trying to manage video transcription and reliable data scraping. We needed a way to turn videos and websites into structured data effortlessly. Supadata immediately solved this, acting as the bridge that helps us build better software and AI products faster. It's built for developers by developers and avoids the unnecessary complexity we often see in APIs. The core of what we're using involves two powerful components. First, the Video Transcript API. This is fantastic. We can extract both auto-generated and manual captions from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, X, and other files. It uses a simple API integration and returns clean JSON output. Crucially for us, it promises no proxies, rate limits, or roadblocks. Second, the Web Scraping API. This gives us clean, structured markdown content. This scraped content is perfect for training our AI chatbots. It handles bypassing captures and rate limits using their scalable infrastructure. It's truly fast, plug-and-play, scalable, and reliable. We've found that the data is even fetched in real time, ensuring we always get the most current data whenever we make a request. So where does Supadata fit into our project? We are primarily using it for our AI backbone. This API is essential for feeding our AI with quality data. This supports our efforts in developing chatbots and is critical for retrieval augmented generation RAG. Look how simple it is to get started. You can call the API using a standard curl command or Python JavaScript SDKs if you prefer, or even no-code tools like Zapier or Make. You send the URL and it instantly returns the clean content. The documentation is great and it's well documented. As one of the makers they trust put it, it's an API that just works without the BS and has saved me weeks of development time. If you are a fellow maker or developer who needs to turn video or web content into structured data, you absolutely need to check out Supadata. They have simple pricing that scales to zero, meaning you can get 100 free requests right off the bat. You can get your API key in 30 seconds and no credit card is required to start building now. The link is in the description. Go check out why 7,000 plus makers are already using this in production. Now let's get back to the rest of the project updates. Project number two, 
MCP Toolbox for Databases, Unified Tool Server for Gen AI plus DB Access. Let's dive into MCP Toolbox for Databases, a free and open source cross-platform server created by Google APIs that lets you build Gen AI agents and tools which talk directly to your databases in a secure, performant, and managed way. It enables you to define tools, for example, SQL query, table creation, index management, via a tools YAML. Run the server as a binary container or from source, then load those tools into LLM orchestration frameworks, e.g., Langchain, Llama Index, through SDKs in Go, JavaScript slash TypeScript or Python. The stack is written in Go, YAM 97% of code, and supports connection pooling, authentication, observability with open telemetry, and is licensed under Apache 2.0. It's now at version 0.2.0, released No. 14, 2025, and has over 11k stars on GitHub, indicating active interest. It's designed for developers, AI engineers and data teams who want to give their agents real-world data awareness and actionable database access so they gain higher productivity, fewer boilerplate steps, and more secure setup. There is one limitation. Because it's pre-1.0, it warns about potential breaking changes. Project number 3, Vibe Voice. Expressive long-form multi-speaker AI voices. Let's dive into Vibe Voice, an open-source text-to-speech framework by Microsoft tailored for generating expressive long-form multi-speaker audio from text. It enables you to produce podcast-style voice output with up to four distinct speakers and durations up to around 90 minutes, which is well beyond typical TTS systems. The stack uses continuous acoustic and semantic tokenizers operating at an ultra-low 7.5 Hz frame rate, a next token diffusion head, and an LLM backbone, QN 2.5 1.5b, to manage dialogue flow and voice fidelity. It supports English and Chinese, offers up to 64K token and context length in its 1.5b parameter version, and is licensed under MIT. Vibe Voice is designed for developers, audio creators, researchers who need high-quality voice generation, multi-person dialogues or podcast-style narration without commercial licensing barriers. While it scales visual workflows and voice synthesis, it has limitations. Overlapping speech is not yet modeled, and its use in real-world commercial applications is not recommended in the repo. Project number 4. Parallax. Decentralized AI Inference Cluster Engine. Let's dive into Parallax a free and open-source cross-platform framework by Gradient HQ that enables you to build your own AI cluster for model inference using distributed nodes anywhere. Parallax tackles the growing need for scalable, cost-efficient inference of large language models by letting you run workloads across heterogeneous devices, GPUs, local machines, remote nodes, with features like pipeline model sharding, dynamic request scheduling, and continuous batching. The project uses Python primarily, implements a peer-to-peer -peer backend via the Latica stack, supports popular open source models such as Quen 3235B, DeepSeq, Minimax, and GLM 4.6 under the Apache 2.0 license. Release VM.1.0, Nov 11, 2025, added diverse model support and relay server connectivity. Developers, researchers, and infrastructure engineers benefit from practical value, lower latency inference, flexible deployment on existing hardware, and better AI sovereignty. Limitation, because it is early stage pre 1.0 and in a decentralized environment, stability and production hardness may require caution. Project number 5, Lunar Root, Hyperf Local Proxy for AI Coding Assistance. Let's dive into Lunar Root, a free and open source local proxy tool written in Rust that works seamlessly with APIs like Claude Code, OpenAI Codex CLI, and other OpenAI Anthropic endpoints. It runs as a lightweight server on your machine and routes your AI coding assistant traffic, allowing you to monitor every token tool invocation and conversation in real time via a web UI with about 0.1-0.2 mes latency overhead. Key features include dual dialect support, OpenAI plus Anthropic APIs, session recording to SQLite and JSONL, PII redaction for privacy, and built-in metrics slash Prometheus support. It's licensed under Apache 2.0. The tool is perfect for developers who use AI coding assistance and want full visibility into what's happening behind the scenes, enabling debugging, usage tracking, cost control, and compliance. According to the repo, one command, avail block and lunar route server end, handles server start and environment configuration. Performance benchmarks show proxy latency under 0.5 misbroge with pass through mode. Project number six, Valdi, cross platform native UI framework by Snap. Let's dive into Valdi 
a free and open source UI framework from Snap Inc. designed for building high performance cross platform applications with native views on iOS, Android, and macOS. It allows developers to write declarative TypeScript slash TSX once and compile directly to fully native UI components, skipping web views and JS bridges, so you get the velocity of web style development with the speed and polish of native apps. According to the docs, Valdi has powered production features at Snap for over 8 years, meaning it is mature beneath the beta label. Some standout details. It supports AOT slash AOT plus jet modes, integrates with the Hermes JS engine, and native bindings via generated code, uses a view model staller state system akin to MVVM, and is licensed under Apache 2.0. It is aimed at mobile slash desktop developers who want one code base yet real native performance and user experience, giving them portability, faster iteration, and deeper control over UI. The demo path involves installing via NPM, writing TSX components, e.g. class extends stateful component, then building for each target with the Valdi toolchain. Performance benchmarks claim very low overhead compared to handwritten native. Limitation. The community ecosystem. Components library is coming soon, so it may lack third-party widgets. Project number 7. Radon IDE. Advanced React Native IDE extension for VS Code slash cursor. Let's dive into Radon IDE, a versatile VS Code and cursor extension built by Software Mansion, designed to turn your editor into a fully featured IDE for building React Native and Expo apps. It allows developers to preview apps directly inside the editor, inspect component hierarchies, debug with breakpoints, monitor network traffic, and even record screen replays, all without leaving the coding environment. The core stack uses TypeScript slash JavaScript for the extension and frontend, and VS Code APIs, supported by a separate simulator server binary for iOS simulator and Android emulator connectivity. The README shows version v1.13 point burrow, released Nov 10 2025, and states thousands of engineers are using it. It's aimed at mobile app developers who want faster iteration, better debugging, and deeper insight into their React Native code, giving them practical value by reducing context switching and improving feedback loops. One limitation, Windows support appears incomplete or inconsistent, issues filed about Windows 64-bit support. Project number 8, Stage, web-based canvas editor for stunning designs. Let's dive into Stage, a free open-source browser-based canvas editor that empowers creators to build rich visual designs without heavy software. It works entirely in-browser by default, although optional back-end services exist, so you upload images, layer text, choose backgrounds, apply shadows or 3D perspective, pick aspect ratios, Instagram, banner, etc., and export high-quality graphics, all fast and intuitive. The tech stack uses Next.js 16 and React 19 with TypeScript, rendering via Canva plus HTML2 Canvas, state management by Zustand, styled with Tailwind CSS4 and UI primitives from Radix UI. The license is Apache 2.0. The editor is built for designers, content creators, marketers, and anyone wanting agile high-res visual output, offering full control, portability in browser, and instant preview. According to the README, Export runs fully client-side for all core features so you retain ownership and privacy. Notable limitations include potential slowness on very high-resolution canvases and screenshot via URL capture may time out for slow websites. Limitation, export may take a few seconds for high-resolution images, screenshot capture may time out. Project number 9, Trend Radar, Real-Time Multi-Platform News Trend Analyzer. Let's dive into Trend Radar a free and open source news trend monitoring and AI analysis tool built in Python and designed to run locally or via Docker. It aggregates hot topic data from over 35 platforms, e.g. TikTok, Zahoo, Bilibili, finance news sites, so you can follow emerging stories without being buried in noise. It supports keyword filters, ranking by frequency and persistence, and integrates AI tools via the Model Context Protocol MCP to provide 13 type analyses, trend evolution, sentiment, similar news search through natural language queries. In practice, you set frequency words, choose a push mode, daily, current, incremental, and let Trend Radar crawl, filter, and notify you via Enterprise WeChat, Feishu, Telegram, email, etc. It's built for researchers, content creators, marketers, and PR teams who want early insight into which topics are spiking or evolving across media. The codebase uses Python, HTML, Docker support, and is licensed under GPL 3.0.
One limitation is that it currently focuses mainly on Chinese language platforms and may require adaptation for other languages slash regions. Project number 10, Usage for Claude, Prompt Usage Tracker. For Claude agents, let's dive into Usage for Claude, a free and open source tool designed to help you monitor, visualize, and audit usage of Claude code or other Claude-based workflows. It tracks how many tokens your agents consume, which prompts invoke heavy tool use, and logs session metadata for cost control and optimization, making it relevant now as organizations deploy AI agents at scale and need transparency, accountability, and budget control. Built in Python, with a SQLite backend plus a lightweight web UI, it supports local deployment, JSONL export, and integrates easily with your existing Claude code logs. It's targeted at AI tool engineers, developer teams, and operations groups who want practical metrics, e.g. token burn per session, tool call count, ownership of usage data, and actionable cost insight. Demo path, clone repo, pip install mine are our requirements.txt. Point it at your .uclaude slash sessions directory and open localhost 8000 to view dashboards. Performance is modest, handles thousands of sessions in minutes. That wraps up part one of this week's trending GitHub repos. Thank you for watching. If you found a project that sparks your interest, please hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and enable notifications so you don't miss part two. Let us know your favorite repo in the comments below. Star the linked projects in the description and try the demos for yourself.